Darlington Nagby, it, it is it is great to see you. Thank you so much for, for taking the time. First of all, man, how, how are you, Darlington? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, all good. All good. Good to be talking to you again. Absolutely. And it's a big week in, in Portland, the 10th anniversary of mm-hmm. Atticus and the Green Machine versus the Portland Timbers. You played in that match. Yeah. Uh, walk us through what you remember about that day 10 years ago. No, I mean, what an experience, you know, for Atticus, but for us as well. You know, I think so much of uh, the game is focused on us and wins and losses and performing, you know, so it was good just to get a day and focus on Atticus and, and everything he was going through and to be able to make that wish come true for him. So that was a fun day. What I think stands out to a lot of people, it was the one time ever that mm. the Timbers Army rooted <laughs> against the Timbers. Uh, that yeah. made it really special, didn't it? How many thousands of people showing up? To me, that that's one of the last two memories of what made that day so special. What was it like for you on the field, mm. having in that spot, having thousands of people cheering against Darlington Nagby? I know it was strange. It was strange, like you said. Usually, the, you know, it's always a packed house there. We always have support <laughs> there when I was there. And then that's continued since I've been gone. So that was a little strange, you know, I've seen them cheer against us, but they're going to cheer against us and it's for Atticus and I'm all for it. What do you think that that, that day shows about the power of, of sports? Mm-hmm. No, I think it's huge, you know. Uh, sports isn't just about the players, the 11 guys, you know, or just the team, you know. It affects so many people uh, close and far away. So I think uh, being able to play that game and seeing how much it meant to Atticus and his family uh, is a huge, huge, huge honor for me uh, and my teammates on that day. You were a really young player at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, what did what did that, what was your third year, third year mm-hmm. Darlington Nagby, like how did that affect you? Yeah, it's definitely shifted it. You know, I think for that moment, you kind of just focus on yourself. Like I said, you know, it's all about you, your performance, uh, getting to the team, staying in the team, you know, but then you realize that sports is way bigger than you, way bigger than just your team and how many people and, uh, it affects and impacts. So I think that was huge for me. Uh, even the guys that have been playing a long time at that moment, I think it just uh, – Brought us down to earth a little bit. It made, us, it made us realize that, you know, it's more than a game. It was a devastating loss for the Portland Timbers, <laughs> the Atticus and the Green Machine. Where does that rank on your losses that you faced that you've had in your career? Yeah, probably the toughest one. The toughest one, but uh, <laughs> the happiest. If, you, if a loss can be happy, that's probably my happiest loss. <laughs> Darling, Tim, we, we appreciate you taking a little bit of time to reflect, mm-hmm. uh, reflect back on that day on May 1st, 2013, mm-hmm. Atticus and the Green Machine versus the Portland Timbers. Uh, man, th- thanks so much for, for the time. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me.